Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lesson, I'm going to share with you how to maintain opening balance in SQL accounting software. For a new company, please take note the first thing you need to do is actually go to Tools, Options, General, and maintain your financial start period. If your financial start period you want to put is January until December, so you just put the January first over here, and you only want to key in transactions starting from August onwards because you just purchased the software in August. So what you need to do the system commission date you should put like this, meaning that your financial will be twelve month January until December, but the system commission will be starting at. 1st of August. Anything that is before 1st of August will treat as opening. So I just assume we are normal 1st of January. So for maintaining opening balance, you need to go to GL, maintain opening balance. So you just key in all the opening accordingly either debit or credit or whatsoever but please remember there are few things to take note cash and bank okay over here the opening balance for bank let's say sorry you should edit example one two zero so this opening balance is your gl opening meaning that it include your actual bank balance and unpresented check and uncredited check for example i put 1200 over here meaning that but my bank only have 1000 in balance so actually there is a check that have not cleared in 31st of december 2011 so it's actually actual bank balance of 1000 plus the unclear check of 200 ringgit so this is the first note to be remember then over here you see all your supplier or creditor and your trade debtors or your customer you do not remember is do not key in the outstanding or the opening over here instead you need to go to customer customer invoice new let's say I key in a opening for kitty remember our opening is first of January 2012 so uh, imagine you have a outstanding bill in 2011 they have not clear let's say in August 2011 it will become a past invoice after you key in the date so what you need to do you just key in the outstanding amount for that particular invoice for example save it will become a past invoice a lot of customers like to ask me whether they need to key in all the outstanding invoice one by one or can they lump sum up together well both also is okay but normally i'll advise one by one because we need to do customer payment knock off the invoice later so if you lump sum up you will never know which invoice is outstanding so i do advise key in past invoice is individually So if you go back to your maintain open, you can see the amount that you key in just now, it will automatically come over here as your opening. Same thing apply to supplier, supplier invoice. You have outstanding supplier invoice that have not cleared in 31st of December 2011.
it will also become a pass invoice key in the total amount save so go back to your maintain opening balance then you can see your supplier 300 so why we win, want to key in the outstanding individually is let's say you want to make payment in later stage your outstanding invoice will be come out and you can do the knockoff later okay so go to gl maintain opening balance key in all the opening but not trade debtors or trade creditors outstanding invoice it done under customer invoice and supplier invoice another one is your bank okay as i as, as i mentioned just now under current asset you key in is the actual bank balance plus uncredited and un, unpresented check you need to do another step is you need to go to gl bank reconciliation right click at any empty space there's a opening bank reconciliation so this is where you key in the ringgit may bank check so you put the check as let's say one have to clear let's say it's your bank something like this so it's a debit check 200 just simply give a watch number or description payment by ABC okay so why we want to do this is because in later stage we want to do the bank reconciliation for this bank your check will come up and you can do the necessary reconciliation okay so this is how to maintain the opening balance for SQL accounting system recap maintain opening balance key in all the opening opening for bank is actually bank balance in bank plus presented and credited check current current liability for trade debtors and trade creditors do not key in over here you key in the customer invoice and supplier invoice but back to previous year. and also bank reconciliation right click opening bank recon key the check that which is not clear on 31st of december 2011 so that's for meeting opening balance in sql accounting software you can always contact me with this information thank you